Welcome back to the Community Corner Podcast, where we explore companies in the S500 through the lens of behavioral finance. I'm Arnav. And I'm Mikhail. Today, we're focusing on Boston Properties, Inc., one of the largest publicly traded developers, owners, and managers of class office properties in the United States. Boston Properties is known for its high-quality office spaces in key urban markets, including Boston, New York, San Francisco, and Washington, D.C. We'll explore how behavioral finance influences their strategic decisions, DEI efforts, adaptation to market changes, and how they compare to other companies in the real estate sector. Let's dive in. Boston Properties has established itself as a leader in the office real estate market. But from a behavioral finance perspective, how do bias, as like status quo bias and loss aversion influence their decision making, particularly in property development and tenant management strategies? Status quo bias plays a significant role in Boston properties decision making, particularly in property development and tenant management strategies. This bias might lead the company to prioritize maintaining their existing portfolio of high-quality office spaces and established tenant relationships rather than aggressively pursuing new developments or tenant categories that could offer higher returns but also carry more risk. While this focus on maintaining the status quo helps ensure stable cash flows and long-term leases, it may also limit Boston Properties' ability to adapt to emerging Trends in the commercial real estate market, such as the growing demand for flexible workspaces or sustainable building practices. Loss aversion is another key factor, where Boston properties might prefer strategies that minimize potential financial risks, such as focusing on blue-chip tenants and prime locations, rather than exploring less established markets or innovative property types. This focus on maintaining established practices and minimizing risk has helped Boston Properties build a stable business, appealing to investors who prioritize consistent returns and lower volatility in the commercial real estate sector. Exactly. Boston Properties' emphasis on stability and risk management has made it a reliable choice for investors seeking steady performance in the office real estate market. However, the company must balance this with a willingness to innovate and explore new opportunities to ensure long-term growth and competitiveness, especially as the office market continues to evolve post-pandemic. Let's discuss diversity, equity, and inclusion at Boston Properties, Inc. As a major player in the real estate market with a diverse tenant base, how does DEI intersect with their business strategy and what insights can we draw from behavioral finance? DEI is particularly important for Boston properties given their role in providing office spaces that serve a wide range of businesses and communities. From a behavioral finance perspective, embracing DEI can enhance decision making by incorporating a variety of perspectives, which is crucial for understanding and meeting the needs of different tenants. A. Diverse workforce can help Boston properties better understand the preferences and expectations of their tenants, leading to more inclusive and effective property management strategies. For investors, the company's commitment to DEI can signal a forward-thinking and socially responsible organization, which is increasingly valued in today's market. Additionally, strong DEI practices can improve employee satisfaction and retention, which are critical for maintaining operational excellence and driving long-term growth. Investors are increasingly considering DEI as a critical factor, especially in industries like real estate, where understanding and addressing diverse tenant needs is key to success. That's right. By embedding DEI into their corporate culture, Boston Properties not only strengthens its ability to serve a broad range of tenants but also enhances its reputation as a leader in providing inclusive and high-quality office spaces. This focus on inclusivity can also help attract top talent, which is essential for driving innovation and maintaining a competitive edge in the industry. Moving on to market adaptation, Boston Properties operates in a highly competitive and rapidly evolving commercial real estate market. 
How does the company adapt to changing market conditions and tenant behaviors? And how does behavioral finance influence this strategy? Boston Properties' ability to adapt to changing market conditions and tenant behaviors is crucial for maintaining its leadership position in the commercial real estate sector. From a behavioral finance perspective, the company's strategy involves balancing the need for innovation with the risks associated with expanding into new property types and markets. Status quo bias might make Boston properties more inclined to focus on their established office properties and tenant relationships, but they also recognize the importance of staying competitive in a market that is increasingly influenced by trends such as remote work, flexible office spaces, and sustainability. Loss aversion might drive them to focus on prime locations and long-term leases with established tenants, but they must also be open to exploring new opportunities in emerging markets and innovative property developments. This adaptability is key for Boston properties, especially as they face competition from both traditional real estate firms and newer, more innovative property developers. Their ability to innovate while maintaining high-quality properties is essential for their continued success. Exactly. Boston properties' success will depend on their ability to balance innovation with the strength of their established properties, ensuring that they remain competitive while also maintaining the stability that their investors and tenants value. They must continue to evolve and adapt to meet the challenges and opportunities presented by changing market dynamics and tenant expectations. Now, let's compare Boston Properties, Inc. to other companies in the commercial real estate sector like SL Green Realty, Vornado Realty Trust, and Coroy Realty Corporation. How do Boston Properties' behavioral finance dynamics differ? Boston Properties' dynamics are often compared to other leaders in the commercial real estate sector such as SL Green Realty, Vornado Realty. Realty Trust and Kilroy Realty Corporation, particularly in their approach to property development, tenant management, and market adaptation. Boston Properties' emphasis on maintaining a portfolio of Class A office spaces in prime urban markets appeals to investors looking for consistency in the commercial real estate sector. SL Green Realty, known for its focus on New York City office properties, appeals to those interested in growth through high demand urban locations. Bornado Realty Trust, with its strong focus on mixed-use developments and retail spaces, offers a more diversified approach to real estate. While Kilroy Realty Corporation's emphasis on sustainable and tech-focused office properties positions it as a leader in the West Coast office market, Boston Properties' focus on balancing prime office properties with market adaptation provides a unique value proposition, but it also means they must carefully manage the risks of being too focused on their existing strengths in a rapidly evolving market. And unlike Vornado Realty Trust or Coroy Realty Corporation, which have a broader focus on mixed-shoes developments or sustainable properties, Boston a pretty strength lies in its ability to maintain a strong position in the class of office market, which has allowed it to build a loyal tenant base in key urban areas. Absolutely. Each of these companies has its own behavioral finance dynamics that influence how investors perceive their value. For Boston Properties, the focus on prime office properties and market adaptation provides a unique value proposition in the commercial real estate sector. To sum up, Boston Properties, Inc. S approach to business is deeply influenced by behavioral finance principles, whether it's through their property development strategies, DEI initiatives, or market adaptation. But like all companies, they must navigate the biases and perceptions that can influence investor behavior. That's right. Understanding these dynamics offers a clearer picture of what drives Boston Properties stock price and where the potential risks and rewards lie. Thanks for joining us on this episode of the Community Corner Podcast. Until next time, I'm Arnav. And I'm Mikhail. Stay curious and keep questioning the narratives.